tie. For this recording, I'll show you, given that limit of n goes to infinity, 1 plus 1 over n raised to the power n is e, what is the limit of 1 plus 2 over n raised to the power n, where n goes to infinity? Now, the working is like this. We can look at this. 1 plus 2, power n, 2 over n raised to the power n is equal to n plus 2 over n raised to the power n. And this is equal to also m plus 2 over m plus 1 raised to the power n times m plus 1 over n raised to the power n. And this is also equal to simplify to 1 plus 1 over m plus 1 raised to the power n times 1 plus 1 over n raised to the power n. Now, we can apply the production, the product rule, but 1 plus 1 over n plus 1 raised to the power n is actually 1 plus 1 over n plus 1 raised to the power n plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over n plus 1 and 1 plus 1 over n, power n as we mean. Therefore, as we know, the mean of m goes to infinity, 1 plus 1 over n with power n is e. We also know that the mean as n, means that n get larger and larger, the terms 1 plus 1 over n with power n approaching e. So we expect 1 plus m plus 1 raised for m plus 1 approaching e as l. And also we know the limit of n goes to 1 plus 1 over m plus 1 is 1. Therefore, by the combination rule, Limits of n goes to infinity, 1 plus 2 over n with power n is equal to limit of n goes to infinity, 1 plus 1 over n plus 1 with power n plus 1 over limit of n goes to infinity, 1 plus 1 over n plus 1 times limit of n goes to infinity. 1 plus 1 over n raised to the power n. And we are going to have e times e over 1, which is e squared. And in general, in general, we have this result that is limit of n goes to infinity 1 plus x over n raised to the power n is e power x, provide whether x is integer or fraction, it all works positive or negative. This is result of the whole, it can be sure. Okay, so this uh, end recording of showing to you how do you find the limit of 1 plus 2 over n is power n by using the result of 1 plus well, n, this power n is e, that's n goes to infinity.